Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. It's for sure. A trip to start. Start the day. Original link to the video, top of the description. My name's Connor if you're new. Hello, hope you're doing well. Amazing places to visit in Poland. Joyous travel. Let's go. Poland will never be boring. Thanks to its incredible natural wonders, architecture, cultural performance, and the tremendous Polish spirit that has survived throughout its history. This Baltic Sea country is the perfect tourist destination for history lovers. It's medieval castles, monuments, for history lovers. <laughs> yeah, wow. It's medieval castles, monuments, Jewish culture influence, and World War II remains are why many tourists find this wonderful country fascinating. Come with us and let's discover 10 amazing places in Poland. But before- uh, I know Auschwitz is in Poland. Is Birkenau also in Poland? Before we get started, subscribe to our channel That's and turn on notifications. Subscribe, right? Number one, Wrocław. Wrocław. The matching roofs. And you guys have the, uh, this style of architecture. I don't know what it is. It's, okay, it's the Baltic, I will call it the Baltic style architecture but like the the step roofs i like it off is a city and just it just the city matches on the Oder river in western poland built in the medieval period poland's fourth largest city is known for its hey, i just gotta turn the tv off oh sorry sorry are you Square, lined with elegant, colorful townhouses and featuring a modern glass structured fountain. Also in the square is the Gothic Old Town Hall with its large astronomical clock. The Centennial Hall Auditorium, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. These open squares is just something that we need to we need to adopt much, much more of and featuring Love a it. modern glass structured fountain also in it's the like wh why do we feel the need that we have to drive everywhere Th this is a point where i'm starting to agree with you guys on is the cars 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 i was a little bit hesitant but what's wrong with like driving to an area where you can then walk to the main shopping area. Well, why do you have to drive to the side of the sidewalk where the shop is? It just makes everything more ugly and less like free moving. I where is the Gothic Old Town? You don't have to walk ten miles. Just, just, just park. Why can't we just like park in America, like over here, and then just walk to the main shopping oh, area with its large astronomical clock? The Centennial Hall Auditorium, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with its giant dome and tall spire, lies across the river. Another popular site is St. Mary Magdalene Church, built in the 13th century. This Gothic cathedral was the main church of the city and is one of the oldest temples in Wrocław. Number two, Zakopane. Although this city is known as a winter tourist town, Zakopane offers many more year-round activities for travelers. You will find everything from hot springs with a beautiful water park to various cultural activities. Zakopane is an exceptionally varied city, wholly dedicated to tourism, with accommodation sites accessible to any traveler. What a mountain range? I forget. Um... The, the s, 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 is an S. It's an extension of the Alps, I think, but it's not the Alps. But it seems like it's connected. Another attraction of this place is undoubtedly the Taj Pod Gubawafka. This highly diverse market offers beautiful souvenirs and handcrafts from the region, and vegetables and fresh food. Also, if you're looking for deals in coats and snowshoes, you can't miss this huge outdoor market. Number three, Tatra National Park. Have you ever seen those beautiful landscapes on postcards? In this park, you will enjoy stunning views worthy of a panoramic photo. You'll find incredible hiking trails,
caves between snow-capped peaks and the famous Tatra Mountains on the Polish side. It's got to be some good skiing <clears throat> in southern Poland, huh? One of the main attractions <clears throat> of this me? place is the Morskie Oko Lake. More than 100,000 people blue. of all ages visit this lake throughout the year. You can also visit the Wodogush... The bluest water I've ever seen. All ages visit this lake throughout the year. You mm. can also visit the Vodogushmote Mitskevicha waterfalls. They're about an hour away from the lake. This park is the ideal destination for hiking enthusiasts or people who want to get away from it all with outdoor activities. Number four, Toe Run. Toe Run. I'm not generalizing here, but there seems to be more open wilderness in Central Europe and I'm, sh I'm assuming even more in Eastern Europe than uh, Western Europe. Is one of the oldest Let me know cities. if I'm wrong there. I, I... Number four, Torun. Torun is one of the oldest cities in Poland. And obviously Northern this Europe. This city is full of houses and buildings with Gothic architecture, monuments that date back to the medieval age. Thanks to the fact that it was not bombed or invaded during World War II, it still preserves excellent historical interest for tourists. Thank God. You can visit the home of the most famous astronomer of the time, Nicholas Copernicus. It's now a museum, and you'll learn a lot about his life's work and the contributions he's made to science. Why did I think Copernicus was Italian? Sorry, okay. He was Polish. Yes. Just, I guess it just sounds Italian. Copernicus. Maybe it doesn't actually. What am I talking about? Walk through the city and see the old town hall dating from the 13th century. Nowadays, it's a museum where you can know everything relevant to oh, Torun and its history. And if you're a baking enthusiast, we recommend you visit the city's gingerbread museum. Have fun recreating all the steps to making this delicacy. Number five, Krakow, or in English, Krakow. Are you looking for a place where everyone knows your name? Well, interesting, not symmetrical towers uh, where they rebuilt, maybe. Krakow. That's the thing with Poland. I, I, I imagine they're just so torn up after from World War II that it makes surviving architecture that much more precious. Are you looking for a place where everyone knows your Fortress? name? Well, maybe not that intimate, but the tourist-friendly city of Krakow comes close. You can visit the Market Square, also known as Renek Głowny, the primary and social center of Krakow. This square has been the protagonist of countless shows and cultural presentations. So if you're lucky, you'll enjoy one of them during your visit. Pass by the Cloth Hall, known as the first covered shopping center in the world. Another place of incredible beauty and architectural interest is the Church of St. Peter and St. Paul. Outside the church, you'll see 12 statues representing the 12 apostles who stand as guardians of the church. This beautiful city stands out for its color, beautiful architecture, and great artistic expressions. Number six, Gdansk. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the country. Gdansk stands out for its history, architecture, and excellent appearance. The site was a battlefield during World War II, so it had to be rebuilt from the ground up. You'll be able to get a hint of that dark time as you walk around the city. One of the mandatory stops you must take here is at Amber Street, known for being one of the most beautiful streets in the world. Another notable area that you cannot miss is the Royal Route. It's a long street which once served as a path for ancient kings with their entourage and royal armies. Your journey starts at the Upland Gate, passing through the main town hall, touring the houses of the nearby neighborhoods. This walk is a magnificent experience and shows you a bit of the history of Gdansk. Number seven, Warsaw, or Warsaw in English. For over 400... Oh, wait, that's right. Krak is Krakow, is Warsaw the capital or is Krakow the capital? It's Warsaw, right? And they have skyscrapers, which I am noticing less and less are in Europe. 
uh, as opposed to North America. And what a powerful building. Look at that thing. Or Warsaw in English. For over 400 years, Definitely Warsaw is the capital, has been right? the capital of Poland. The place was a victim of war, yep. and it does not forget its past while moving with passion towards the future. Its most fundamental tourist attraction is the Old Town, declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. In the Museum of the Uprising, you can learn the story of how this city stood up and fought against the advances of the Nazi army, and how it resisted the onslaught of war. The Warszawa Old Town Market is one of the most beautiful squares in Warszawa and was once the center of its public life. This square was built in the 13th century. Did you say Poltava? On Market is one of the most beautiful squares in Warszawa and was once the center of its public life. This square was built in the 13th century and now the construction Poltava? surrounded are from the 15th century. One of the city's main attractions and its most emblematic symbol is the Little Mermaid statue. A warrior mermaid is wearing a large shield and a sword, becoming the defender of the city. When you travel here in the winter, you must visit the ice rink surrounding the statue of the warrior mermaid. The Wajenki Royal Park is one of the most beautiful parks in Warszawa. It hosts open-air classical music concerts, and you'll love the beautiful gardens, Royal, Belvedere, and Art the Nouveau, cock. surrounding the large historical buildings inside the park. Number eight, Sopot. Sopot is known as a seaside resort town with beautiful beaches, a large pier, and moves between a quiet life and sporty highlights. The Grand Hotel Baltic is- Baltic Sea has gotta be freezing. I'd imagine, probably like year round, right? A huge building located at the foot of the beach and is one of the oldest in the city. A great attraction for its particular architecture and its crazy design is the Crooked House. It's a twisted shaped building that looks like something out of a cartoon. Designed by architects Shotinsky and Zaleski. Pretty cool. Boa Taruv Monte Cassino Street is a street primarily dedicated to tourists. You can walk without any difficulty through the souvenir stores, restaurants, cafes, and clubs located along this street. A quiet and comfortable walk that takes you directly to the pier of Sopot. Number 9. Zalipia Village Are you looking for a colorful place to visit during your stay in Poland? Zalipia is the spot for you. Thanks to a local tradition that dates back more than 100 years, you can find colorful painted flowers all over any surface of the rural town. During your stay, you may run into some locals. Some of them open the door of their homes to tourists for photographs. Take a tour of the Dome Malarek Museum, or also known as the Painter's House. There, you can learn about local traditions and art through a variety of paintings and workshops. Number 10, the Crooked Forest. It's a forest of more than 400 pine trees with something quite peculiar. And I have seen some trees like this, but never so many at once. And their shapes are bent as if they were the handle of a teapot. That's like why candy. it has become a unique attraction. It's the Candy Cane Forest from Candyland. You know the board game? Wait, was that, is that what it's called? Candyland? Yeah. And there's the Candy Cane Forest. And these look like candy canes. Traction. Perfect opportunity. Of the Polish territory. You can find it on the outskirts of Nove Chernovo village, very close to Grafino. There are many theories of why the trees of this forest grow this way. Chernovo, I'm like Chernobyl, but that's in, on the Ukraine-Belarus border, right? Nowhere near this, but I'm like, oh, that's why the trees are growing strangely. Some believe that it's something supernatural. But Others I'm explain dumb. that old farmers in the middle of the growth of these pines modified their forms to be used later in the manufacturing of hulls and boats. Today, the mystery remains unsolved, which attracts the attention of tourists who visit this area. You know what? They're already, they're, they're already bent in like a hull shape. But they're not all uniform, so maybe it'd be better just to bend them. It 
Ukraine is... This beautiful country has been through a lot, but despite it all, the incredible say that again. of its citizens has kept it standing. Enjoy its delicious cuisine, which will pierogi? make your taste buds explode. Let yourself be carried away. What is the difference between a, a pierogi and a dumpling? Are, are they essentially the same thing, but different words? Or completely different? I don't want to... ...by the great history of this Anyone fighting could? country. Discover its charming villages, main cities, mountainous areas, and even beautiful beaches. So pack your bags and experience the Phoenix of Europe, Poland. The Phoenix of Europe is right. If you enjoyed this video... I, I just have, I have more respect for Poland because of all of what it's been through and it's still surviving. That's definitely respect worthy. Give it a like and click Hardship. subscribe. Thanks Ooh. for watching. Ooh. Uh, really good video. Um, I'd appreciate any of you polls comment or anyone commenting down below. Uh, it was really good. That was my wake up video. I feel better, ready to watch the next video. Uh, love y'all. I would appreciate, you know, like subscribing if you'd like, and, uh, hopefully I'll see you next video. All right. Bye guys.